What is it, Blue Fam? Yo, what up? It's us. Back with another video, your girl Netta. And we're gonna do a Chipotle mukbang. But this mukbang, we're gonna be talking about, or we're gonna be asking uh, asking each other different questions. Uh, we pulled up online. Uh, I basically typed in a uh, couple mukbang questions. I barely saw I don't know what they expect. Perfect. Um, you got your phone? Uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna need that. So, yeah, so you just go randomly and ask whatever ones you want. They got different kinds. Um, our baby is over there playing in his playpen, watching his little morpho. So, we finna get this thing popping, okay? Let's get it. So, I got a bowl. Yeah, I know I got a bowl somewhere. Where is it? No smush out of tacos. Good catch. Bang! Yeah, you say no Not you the same, you got to bust off on the back. That's <laughs> my bowl. So we both got a... Wait, which one say sour cream? Give me my bowl. I don't like sour cream. Mm-mm. So we both got a... Whoa, that eat all them chips on the way home? We got chips and queso. What? We were supposed to get a large chip. We were supposed to get a large chip. I only had like six of them things. Dang. Well, now you can actually dip your queso. Have y'all? No, this nigga don't. He don't dip. That nigga scoop. He scoop his queso, okay? So, now you can actually scoop your queso. We got three tacos. They must be really skimp because look how they got it wrapped up like that. And then we got our vinegar and salt, of course. We don't play. So, that's that. Um, yeah, that's everything we got. So, the first thing I'm going to do, since, you know, um, I stuff it's cold. I'm gonna heat up the queso and a little bit of chips that we got. I love that, y'all. <laughs> All right, so we're back. You want to ask the question first, or should I? We should eat go first. We heat it. I knew he was gonna say that. We heat up our queso, and don't act like you don't eat now. With our little bit of chips. Oh wait, that should be a shame to put that that plus ten in there. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> Is that hot enough for you? Yeah. You know that. Oh, no. Uh, Alright, we're back. We're back. <laughs> man, I don't want no chips. What? Can't stay up, man. <laughs> the cheese is right here. What's wrong with them? Don't you take all that to heat up cheese? No. Anyway. Man. Can I see the question? No, so back out from it. Mr. Chipotle. We literally had to go around in a circle just to get in line. That's how much cars was there. I mean, I think all they drive through is shaped like a circle, but it's how nah, long. Nah. It was like, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's how long we had to sit in that thing on circle. Right, we seen the car in the front twice, so that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Something juicy. What's your opinion on open relationships? Why even? <laughs> Why even call it a relationship at that point? I might as well just be ourselves, you know? <laughs> it ain't no, it ain't really gonna be a union, you know, if it's in that type of. I mean, Some people consider themselves actually a union. They be like, okay, like we we oh. are in a relationship. You are my person. We understand that it is. Um, However, outliers out there in certain. I'm not even caught outliers. So how do you feel about them. it again? You must walk up. <laughs> you don't want to say that me. How do you feel again? Like, come on, elaborate. Hey man, people do what they want, and you know they shouldn't be judged for it. But you know me personally, I just. Don't believe in open relationships. Just, you know. Open relationships are trash. Because at the end of the day, y'all end up being a close relationship or end up having insecurities, end up always fighting about, oh, well, who you hunched this time? You know what I mean? Because that'd be me. I'd be like, mm, you was out, huh? <laughs> who was it? Like, mm, you had fun, huh? <laughs> you could not come back home to me and hush me love. Mm -hmm. oh, you think you're you the only one? you asking them Oh, you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna follow me outside. <laughs> Real love. Oh, man. All right, yoga. That was a good 
first question, all right? I'm trying to loosen you up. He gonna try to. He got on his glasses, so he gonna try to be very professional. <laughs> all right. So, what's your favorite part of my body? <laughs> I got three favorite parts. <laughs> I'm gonna start from the top to the bottom. His eyes. You want me to take it off? His eyes with his eyelashes. I love him. The way he look at me. His smile. Got a nice smile. Uh, his thing. His down. His penis. <laughs> I know y'all heard that. I the thing that's um, hanging, not wanking. <laughs> <laughs> you really ain't eating no chips. Nah, I ain't eating like, no uh, Oh, okay. I'm like, oh, tell me now, because if you're not going to. Mm. One at a time, you know, we got to make sure I'm going to choke over. I'm going to stun this. Mm. 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 How do you handle disagreements or conflicts in a relationship? Oh, my. <laughs> man. We got to talk it out. It may take hours. Is that how you handle it? Or is that what you think it should go? How you think it should go? We handle it that way, too. We may be a little frustrated at first, but we always, you know, talk it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and say that, um... I'm a little bit more, I'm better, not a little bit, I'm better at talking it out <sighs> than him. I think he's more of the explosive and then talk it out type person. Why? I don't know. But as long as he come back with the right information, like, you was right, you was right, baby. I'm sorry. Okay, that's good enough for me, honey, because who? So, yeah, okay, I'll give you that one. But, yes, in a relationship, it's important to talk things out. Everything is not going to be easy. Like, you know, everybody's not going to be right all the time. And then sometimes, you know, you got to go through the storm to get to the sun. Right? And that's how they say it. Yeah. Especially with me, <laughs> because I'm the type of person, I think whatever I think in the back of my mind, boy. I'll just be like, hmm. Mm. <laughs> nah, she, she hurt your feelings. Will I? Just about being what? silent or something? What? Yeah. It's going to hurt my feelings, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your question. You gotta make sure that you answer your own question too. Work. Yeah, I think I've been answering my own question too. <laughs> 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 They're just like, it's all. Oh, let's see. What's something you think that sets your relationship apart from others? How loyal we are to each other. <laughs> Regardless of anything that may have happened when we first got together, how loyal we are to each other now and how much we connect to each other. Yeah. We talk more than a lot of people talk. A lot of couples talk nowadays. People feel like, oh, you should put your friends above your man. Like, I love my friends. But as far as putting them above the person I stay with every day, that's going to be a hard thing for me to do because I stay with this man, we share everything. You get what I'm saying? So, he's very much a priority in my life as well. You know what I mean? How do you feel? Honestly. What's that sets apart? You stole all my answers. Like, okay, what's one that... you agree with the most? <laughs> how loyal we are to each other and how we always, you know, come back to each other even after, like, you know, getting frustrated with each other or arguing or something. Look, well, it's even hard for him to give me arm room sometimes. He loves being stuck to your girl. Nah, I do. But yeah, like nah, why? it's like... I really value that. Like, how much time? <laughs> I looked over. I think I thought my baby disappeared. He laying down. Hold on. She'll be back. You good? Yeah, you know, I mean, you can't hear me, baby. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> she done gave him the Thor hammer. Y'all gonna hear some banging in the background. <laughs> But yeah, nah, I do really value how loyal we are to each other, and really. 
Hey, baby, look what I'm about to say. Uh, I it really makes me like get up and fight for my relationship every day. You know, it makes me feel like, damn, I'm the luckiest man on this earth. Because I know she don't go to war for me at any given point, and I'll do the same for her. I'm not saying that. Next. 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 <laughs> Have you ever had a one night stand? If so, tell me about it. Ain't no, uh, ain't no alternative. Ain't no drink. Or <laughs> <laughs> Who said we were playing truth or drink? <laughs> Do you want an alternative? Uh, Do you want an alternative? <laughs> Let me know. Now I got you one. I got you. You ain't got to tell the person nothing, you know, just a little detail. Have you ever had a one-night stand? That's first part of the question. I mean, I did, but it's not technically a one-night stand, though. Yeah, now, so. What are you talking about? You ain't talking about me. No. <laughs> I did not give them no, no, no. Don't play with me. It wasn't the first name, but. That's not a one-night stand. A one-night stand is classified as somebody yeah, who you met that night, night. Yeah, and it only happened one night. Have you ever had a one-night stand with somebody you met the same night? Honestly, yeah, but, you know, happened so long ago, and, you know. Would you never be able to remember it? That's not that I don't really remember, it's just, uh, I ain't really got details, just really the usual, what you see on TV and movies. Okay. <laughs> Back when Netflix and Chill was talking, type thing. <laughs> okay, my answer is no. Um, anybody who I've ever yeah, done anything yeah. with, we probably don't have conversations and everything before. That's just the type of person I am. Hey, right, we didn't bring them. Here go. So, I don't know if you know this, different sections have different things. They gotta keep going. Mm -hmm. What's the most ridiculous item on your bucket list? I don't have a bucket list. Um, make one. Make I pretty one. much play it safe in life. I don't know if you told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I play it real safe because I don't like to learn from my lessons. I like to learn from other people's lessons first. But um, what was the question again? The most ridiculous thing on your um, bucket list. I got another one for you. Yeah, that's another uh, one because I don't, you know, I don't do that. All right. If you could have any fictional character as your imaginary friend, who would it? I don't even like that question. Uh -uh, <laughs> no, I'm doing man. Oh, man. If you could have one app on your phone, what would it be? At this point, YouTube. Because I'm trying to make that money. Trying to make that money. What about you? I have to probably the uh, phone app. Just this. Apparently, you got a call. And, you know. Mm -hmm. But we can I talk through YouTube. communication whenever I can. We can talk through YouTube. <laughs> That's true. Okay, I got a question that's not in there. Well, nah, I asked you this at the end. Let me pick another one. Eat some more queso. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Or, uh, if you could have any celebrity as your best friend, who would it be? Hmm. Any celebrity as my best friend. And who would it be? Who in, who, um, who in charge of <laughs> Apple is right now? <laughs> <laughs> Are they a celebrity? I guess that is not. What's the uh, Tesla guy? Elon Musk? Oh, you're trying to have rich friends. Maybe okay. Uh, you know, about who the teacher's not. That's the one who built that crop. That's the one who built that crop. Nah, that was Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Okay, okay, look. Amazon guy. Yeah. Okay. Who else? 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 Who
Um, if I had to choose a celebrity, see now we talking about them rich folks. I'm gonna choose Oprah. You get a call, you get a call, and you get a call. Cause sis gotta teach me something. Teach me something. Well, do I want Oprah? It's, it's, it's like a lot of options, man. Cause honestly, if it ain't got, got nothing to do with money, it probably won't even be the you know, people I pick. So that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I did some Oprah. Trying to go, man. All right, we gotta wrap it up with one good one, huh? One guy's <laughs> oh. good one. And one guy's a good one. All right. Um, you can go to the deep questions. Those are more the silly ones, I think. What's the most ridiculous thing you ever done while procrastinating? <laughs> I'm trying to find a better question than that. Let's go see what's going on. Hey, I, hey, I see you though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your question? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the last chip. Do you want it? No. The... <laughs> no, get your apple. Thank yeah, you. I need room, man. And I need room to eat this yeah, crazy stuff. You see how close you got to me? And I'm going to tell you to work out and stuff. Shoot. I ain't even know what's an apple. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, what is, it, what, is it, what is it? How do you envision our future together? We're gonna be beautiful. I envision us having, um, I don't you say five kids, I don't know. I, I'll say about 30. Listen, <laughs> I'm a girl, I'm a C section girly, so that's what I go. <laughs> Who's gonna get cut 30 times? And I, uh, in all seriousness, I do envision a very beautiful future for us, you know, with plenty of kids, lots of money, hopefully, so we can take care of them kids and then, you know, spread them like the love outwards, you know, with, with, by giving back, by, you know, being there for our family, friends, all we can do, man. Mm -hmm. I envision us owning property. And I also, us, what's playing up? God first. Yeah, yeah that's the main thing. Um, especially teaching that to our kids too, because the world crazy. But on the property as well. Um, and yeah, one day we might uh, venture out and start traveling to other. Nah, I don't like to venture. <laughs> I don't like to travel like that. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> you don't know what you get into when you travel to these other places, man. Other people hometown. Hey, man. You know. That was a good one. But I've been in a very happy, blessed life. Us um, instilling the right things in our kids. Us spreading joy and love and money. Of um, And knowledge as well. Us um, creating generational wealth. Because we're not going to be the type of parents who uh, wait and rely on our kids to give us money. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be the type of parents that give our kids money and help them navigate throughout the world. I don't want to uh, have to be like, okay, when he grow up, he's going to be a football player. You know, because you just never know. And even if you become a football player, I don't want it to be a reliant situation. You know what I mean? Just want to give him the freedom to do what he want to do, you know. Exactly. You know, I know he's going to make a lot of money regardless. You feel me? Yes. Oh. Oh, you got one? I thought that was the last one. All right, okay, this is the last one. <laughs> What's the most important thing you've learned from your past relationships? I can honestly say I learned, I've learned more in my current relationship than I've learned in my past. So it's like, <laughs> you know, you know, we got together with, with pretty young. Uh -huh. I was 20. Yup. So, you know, we didn't make you a lot. And I done told you. Uh -huh. Come on, you want to? <laughs> Yo, I was trying to do a little prank on here real quick. You, you just smiling weirdly at your man while he explaining something. Oh, I just stuck my finger on <laughs> you did that just then? Wait, did you do that before? You just wanted to. <laughs> hey, but, man. Nah, I forgot the question now. What was the question I asked you again? Uh, what you learned from your past relationship? Oh, yeah, yeah. I learned that, um... I 
saying nothing. Um, cause I ain't really give too many people a chance before him. He's like my second real relationship and my first one. I was in high school, so that don't really count, honestly, if you ask me. So yeah, but um, in this relationship, I learned to be patient with the man. But I also learned to not accept anything. You know what I mean? Like, I know. Oh, baby crying. I'm back. <laughs> if you want that one, finish your question up. It's too late. Alright, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Oh. Are you going to be finished that one? Yep. Alright. So. He said the baby. He said the baby. He said the baby. He said the baby. He laughing. Okay, so. um, Huh? Nah, with that messed up spaghetti shirt. Chicken and vegetable shirt. But, uh. Huh? No, okay, okay. Say hi, Papa. Hey. Say hi, baby. Hi. Hey, Papa. No. Oh, okay. One more time. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. He about to be okay. Okay. Can't get those going. Oh no. Oh no. Well, let him film on the next video. Papa, I don't want that Chipotle. What's that? Y'all gonna film on that? You see that fat hand? He's just choking me. He's just choking me. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so in my current relationship, go on y'all. <laughs> I learned that um, you have to be patient with a man. I learned that um, you can't accept anything and to always be vocal. Not too vocal now, because I've been too vocal before. <laughs> but always be vocal about or be able to have a conversation about things that you want and um, your expectations. Um, into I'm learning how to properly love a man because I didn't grow up with a dad, I grew up with a father figure, my granddaddy, God bless his soul. But I didn't grow up with a dad, so you know, for me to show affection to a man is kind of like different from me. I just am just not used to it, but I'm learning because he's a very affectionate person. Okay, uh huh, no, yeah, <laughs> let me talk to you. <sighs> but I think, um, I think that was a good, uh. We didn't even eat the rest of our food. What's wrong with us? Now, I told you that queso was dry with them. With, with but the we, have we have balls. We have balls. Whatever. Let me show y'all my bowls. <laughs> we should have started eating first. We'll learn that for next time. But let me show y'all the bowls. I'm going to eat right after this. My bowl look a little skimp today. I told you that line all wrapped around twice. I ain't never going later. again. <laughs> I'm never going to Chipotle later again. We just got a Chipotle in town, y'all, and everybody be there. And I see why. We took a day off of not getting Chipotle, had some pizza. When I tell you, my body was mad at me, honey. Man, I tasted every salt. Yeah, it was so salty. Crap. It's crazy. When you start eating healthy, it really get a difference when you go back to other stuff. It make you hate it, honestly. That's so true. You know why my bowl so light? They forgot some stuff. They was scratched tonight. Ain't no guacamole. Hey, man, we're all humans. We need and be asked, but get it right next time. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna check yours. Now, if yours got guacamole, I'm gonna have to scrape some off if it don't got sour cream. But yeah, y'all, let us know how y'all feel about this. Um, uh, bang and the you questions we ask. Oh, how you get guacamole? Hey, what else is that? <laughs> You ain't got no sour cream on it. They they was like, stop ordering from us. Leave us alone. Not happening. I'm gonna scratch some. Back. I'm gonna scratch some of your guacamole, y'all. They yeah, was scratched today. Yeah, they I'm gonna start making my own, man. Oh, we. And you don't we remember? Did. Yeah, we and did. it don't just taste. It don't taste the same. Cause you gotta. Anyways. Hire somebody from Chipotle to give you. Anyway. <laughs> Let us know how y'all feel about this um, mukbang question down below. If you have any comments, please comment below how y'all feel about any question that we ask. Um, and yeah, show some love, y'all, so we can keep doing this. Because like I said, we just got monetized. Go watch some videos. I'm ready to drop more jewels on how to get monetized. I'm ready to show y'all um, how much we can pay daily loves. But I can't do that without the views and the likes. It just don't make sense. You feel what I'm saying? Because nobody else doing that. And I'm trying to do that for y'all. Let y'all know if YouTube is actually worth it. Anyway. Hey, she's telling the truth about it. She is trying to um, put that out there. I'm trying to. Try